In 2014, all eyes will be on Scotland as it plays host to two major international sporting events, the Glasgow 2014 Commonwealth Games and Ryder Cup at Glen Eagles. In addition, Scotland marks the second edition of Homecoming, featuring a year-long programme in celebration of the country's food and drink, culture, heritage and natural resources. Scotland is expected to reap well over £100 million economic benefit from hosting the Ryder Cup and Commonwealth Games, so it's a big year for the country. Visitors to Scotland are anticipated to spend almost £33 million on food and drink in 2014. Today, we talk to some of the key players leading the 2014 activities to find out what the year means for the food and drink sector and how and why businesses across the country can get involved. James Withers, Chief Executive, Scotland Food and Drink, is tasked with spearheading the industry's growth to £12.5 billion by 2017 and developing the country's reputation as a land of food and drink. As a membership organisation, it supports food and drink businesses of all sizes and scale to achieve their ambitions. Well, I don't think we'll see another opportunity like 2014 again in my lifetime. An amazing chance to showcase a nation, really. But from a food and drink perspective, we see this as a chance to really cement Scotland's reputation as a land of food and drink. Well, there's a huge amount of work that started some months ago now. Uh, we've got dedicated staff in place looking to work with companies to identify do they want to be supplying things like the Commonwealth Games, the Ryder Cup or the homecoming events, do they want to get involved in some of the peripheral activity we'll do to showcase Scotland. So um, a lot of things evolving uh, very, very quickly, support programmes being put in place, so there's going to be a lot of help out there for producers and we want this to be a fantastic chance then to showcase the skill and the talent and the entrepreneurialism that's at the heart of their businesses. Scale is no barrier for companies, whether you're a big company, whether you're a small artisan producer, there'll be something for you that year. Keep your ear close to the ground, there's going to be lots of information coming up on the 2014 Food and Drink website. We're in the process just now of developing various different support programmes. The good news is we're not starting from scratch, there's already fantastic schemes out there like Event Ready Producers, Experiencing Scotland, programmes that we run by Scottish Enterprise to improve the opportunities for local food and drink suppliers to supply these kind of events. But lots more will be evolving so stay close to Scotland Food and Drink and our partners and all that information will be coming out over the next few months. Gillian Swan, Marketing Manager at Event Scotland, is at the helm of promoting the huge programme of events across 2014, when Scotland will welcome the world. Homecoming is a year-long programme of events that will span the whole of the country, so from the, um, Dumfries and Galloway in the south right up to our islands in the very north. There'll be events happening throughout the year. The events will celebrate the very best that Scotland has to offer in terms of our Scottish food and drink produce, our active and natural resources, as well as our creative, cultural and ancestral heritage. Scotland has some of the very best food and drink experiences to offer and I think it's a really great opportunity for um, Scotland's food and drink producers to showcase um, their offering at these events. Um, with a great range of seasonal and local produce. And our programme will launch in April this year, so we would encourage food and drink producers to speak with the local events to see how they can be involved. Um, there will also be some great showcase events throughout the country that there will be opportunities at, and um, working with partners such as um, Scotland's Food and Drink, of course. And we'll also have our Homecoming Scotland Partner Programme, which will not only be for food and drink events, but also for food and drink producers to sign up to be part of the Homecoming Year. Craig Lear, Head of Catering, Cleaning and Waste for Glasgow 2014, will play a pivotal role in feeding everyone involved in the Games, from the athletes and officials to media, spectators and workforce. Craig brings an enormous wealth of experience of working with Commonwealth and Olympic Games organising committees from around the world. The Games will be the biggest logistical operation the city has ever seen. What an opportunity, with over two million meal opportunities going to be served through the period of the Games, we'd say the opportunity is there for you to be involved. You also have to think it might not be easy. Uh, when, you're, when you're an athlete uh, going to win a gold medal, you don't get there by not having training and hard work. And we expect the same thing from our suppliers. We're developing a food charter uh, in conjunction with many different uh, industry bodies, inclusive of Scotland Food and Drink, 
This will help us to deliver our aims uh, and, and make sure the industry understands what it is we want. We want to deliver a, a, con a consistent product across the games. Uh, we also want to focus on healthy eating, but uh, the other aim for us is, uh, is to get people out of their comfort zones. Let's do something a bit different. Let's get excited, Scotland. Richard Lockhead, MSP, Cabinet Secretary for Rural Affairs and the Environment, a passionate advocate of Scotland's natural larder, is committed to ensuring that Scotland's food and drink will benefit from the international events hosted in Scotland in 2014. 2014 is going to be a spectacular year for Scotland. The country is going to be in the, the global spotlight and with some of the major global sporting events taking place in this country, it's a huge opportunity for food and drink companies to, to use that as a platform to promote everything that's great about that industry and to do good business at the same time. We want the hundreds of thousands of people that are going to travel from throughout the whole of the world to come to Scotland to have the best possible visitor experience. And food and drink, of course, plays such a huge role in that. In 2014, it's going to be a really exciting year. Scotland's going to be at the centre of world attention with some of the biggest events taking place in this country in terms of the Commonwealth Games, the Ryder Cup, and of course, it's the next homecoming year as well. And we want the hundreds of thousands of people that are hopefully are going to visit our shores to have the best possible experience. And food and drink is going to be at the heart of that. So it's a fantastic platform for the food and drink sector, which is already undergoing a revolution and booming at the moment, to use that opportunity as a fantastic platform for good business and to sell the fact that we are the land of food and drink. I think it's clear that 2014 will be a big year for Scotland and that the food and drink sector should grab the opportunities with both hands. 2014 will contribute to the ongoing success of the Scottish food and drink story and everyone really should embrace it. Let's work together to proudly show everyone, whether on home soil or from around the world, that Scotland is truly a land of food and drink. We know Scotland is a land of food and drink. This is the best chance in a generation to show the world we are a land of food and drink. Homecoming Scotland is a great opportunity for food and drink producers to be involved in this exciting year and work with the 2014 food and drink team to showcase the very best that Scotland has to offer. Get involved and showcase Scotland as a land of food and drink. And let's ensure that food and drink is part of that experience of the hundreds of thousands of people that are going to visit our shores. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Be part of it. <laughs>